Today we're going to bring you the market update for Coastal Delaware here at the start of June in 2022. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another edition of Living in Coastal Delaware. I'm your host, Matt London, your Coastal Delaware Realtor, and today we're gonna to be discussing what the market is like here in the start of June of 2022, and what you can expect if you're getting ready to sell your home, or if you're looking to buy a home. I'm sure you've heard that some market conditions are changing, and I wanna bring all that information to you guys. Before we dive into the video, as always, if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below, smash the notification bell next to it so you can stay in the loop every time we post a video discussing all things Coastal Delaware. And then if you are someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, I would love the opportunity to work with you, so all my information will be down below in the description and here on the screen. Now let's dive in. So if you've been keeping an eye on any real estate news recently, whether that's your local news, your national news, really anything online, all of it is pointing to a slowdown in the market. And I wanted to bring you guys some more information about what you can expect to see and where that's headed. So the doom and gloom news on one side is that the market's crashing, everything's falling apart, the world's gonna die, you know, everything. And then the other side is that the market's not gonna crash, it's gonna stay here forever, you know, we're never gonna see a slowdown. It's gonna be a happy medium of both. We definitely are starting to see a slowdown in the market. First, we're gonna start with what that means for you on the seller side and when you see a slowdown in the market. Right now, as interest rates keep teetering up a little bit, you start to get to summertime, typically the summer is a little bit slower for us here at the beach and right now what that means for you as someone that's getting ready to sell your home is your home may last on the market a little bit longer than a weekend I know the last you know two years or so homes have been selling in hours not days but we're starting to creep more into the you know a week to two weeks on the market is not really all that crazy anymore a few short months ago if a home was on the market for a week people started to wonder what was wrong with it but now you know with the way the market has changed a little bit you're starting to see homes sit for a little bit longer on the market again it's not months like it was back at you know 2019 2018 that kind of stuff but we are starting to see homes sit for a little bit longer so if your home doesn't sell in the first weekend don't panic more than likely it just is going to take some time to get some buyers in there and buyers have become a little bit more picky you know they may have lost out on five six seven deals at this point throughout the springtime and so now they're really looking for the one that checks every box because whatever they're going to do they're going to make sure they get that house because they've lost out before now the flip side of that as homes start to sit on the market a little bit longer as a buyer what you can expect is that you may have the opportunity to get into a home and you may not have to you know call out of work and drop everything and go see it right now to get that home you may be able to you know wait until the weekend to see it that's not the case in every situation you know things still can move pretty quickly depending on the area and the price point but you may have a couple days to get in there you may not have to drop everything and get in there this afternoon and then depending on what's going on with that home you know you may not have to offer a whole mess of money over top of the asking price you know say something's listed at 300,000 we were seeing people before paying 350 375 even 400,000 dollars for those $300,000 homes, which, you know, pricing has kind of leveled out. The market has told us this is where home prices should be, and people aren't paying nearly as much over asking as they were there for a little bit of time, mostly through 2021, and then even at the start of 2022. So if you're a buyer in this market, honestly, right now, you, like I said, you have a little bit more time to get into some homes, and depending on what's going on with that home, you may be able to get it at list price. There may be a rare instance where you can get it under list price, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about offering 25, 50, 100 grand over asking price which is you know great news from the buyer side especially as interest rates start to creep up now you may be asking well if homes are sitting a little bit longer and you know things are starting to stagnate a little bit you know what does that mean as far as home prices and that kind of stuff and honestly we've seen prices kind of level off particularly over the last two to three weeks we've seen prices just kind of normalize there's not a whole lot of if your neighbor's house was listed yesterday for 400 grand, you know, you can't list your house for 450 like you could last year. Now we're starting to see things in neighborhoods listed all relatively in the same price point. And again, that leads to just, you know, because homes are sitting a little bit longer, you're gonna have to be a little bit more competitive on the sell side based on what else is selling in and around your home and, you know, what the dynamics are like of your area. Again, anything in the beach communities is typically gonna be selling a little bit quicker just because there's still a number of folks that are looking to move to this area. But for the most part, 
you know, as prices level off, you know, some sellers, if you're thinking of waiting until the fall, you may be better served to list sooner rather than later, just because as interest rates continue to rise through the year, I don't think it's going to do you any favors as far as price point goes. And then buyers, you know, it depends. Interest rates are going to go up. That's a given. The feds told us that we know that's a fact. Interest rates are going to continue to rise through this year. So you need to look at, you know, the difference in price point. If you save five grand or 10 grand or even 20 grand on a list price, but you're paying three more percentage points on interest, you know, what does that do with your monthly payment? So talk with your lender, make sure that you've got an idea of where your monthly payment is now, and then just run a couple hypothetical situations. You know, hey, we're looking at this $400,000 house at a five and a half percent interest rate. In seven months time or six months time or five months time, you know, what is that $400,000 house at a seven and a half percent interest rate look like for us on a monthly payment. And you know, you may find out that your monthly payment is less paying a little bit more for the house, but having a low interest rate than saving a couple bucks on the house, but having a, you know, two or three percentage point higher interest rate, you know, down the line somewhere. So it's definitely, you know, for both situations, buyers and sellers, you're probably better served sellers, you're going to get the most money for your home right now. And then buyers, you may pay a little bit more for the home, but your interest rate is going to be lower than when it's going to be in the fall. So you're probably better served finding something sooner rather than later in both scenarios there. Again, the market, as it starts to cool off, you know, nobody's got a crystal ball. If I did, I wouldn't be standing here in front of you guys. As we definitely know, interest rates are going to go up. Prices don't seem like they're going to retreat a whole lot just because there's still such limited inventory on the market. Inventory is very low still, especially here in the beach communities. And there's still a good amount of buyers out there that are still hunting for that home. They may have lost out on a couple homes already. You know, I don't think we're going to see this big, huge crash. I've said it on the channel before. You know, I'll keep saying it. You let me know down in the comments, but I don't think we're going to see some massive crash. Again, I think prices where they're at now, they've leveled off. You're not seeing neighbors listing for 50, 75 grand more than what you listed for a month ago. But I think we will see, you know, prices, they may tick down just a touch. Again, I don't think, you know, homes are going to lose 50% of their value. There's not going to be big sell off or anything like that. But you know, as homes start to sit a little bit longer, you'll start to see people price them down a little bit just so that you know, depending on their situation, you know, they may need to be out of that house in 30 or 45 days in order to move into their next home. So they may need to lower the price a little bit just to entice some more buyers to get them into the door. I hope that gives you guys a little bit more insight into the market. If you have any questions about what the market conditions are like, or you know, your particular situation, all my information is down below in the description. Again, I'll have it here on the screen. If I can answer any questions for you, or if you got some questions about the market, or should I wait, or should I do something now, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love the opportunity to work with you guys. I hear from some of you folks every single day, and nothing makes me happier than when I see somebody say, hey, I found you on YouTube, and you know I'd like to work with you. So please don't hesitate to reach out, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace.